As IT professionals, our job is to solve problems. When we're not fixing things that are broken, we're spending our time making things smarter, faster, simpler, safer, just overall better for our users. Generally, to do those things, we turn them into projects. Now, the most successful projects start with the best plans. And the best plans start with clearly defined, specific, time-based goals. We call those SMART goals. And being able to create and define them is an incredibly important skill to have in your IT toolkit. Let's figure out how to build them. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're brand new to IT or whether you're a seasoned professional who's been working in the field for years. IT is about management. We manage ourselves. We manage people. We manage projects. And the most successful project managers start with something we call SMART goals. Now, SMART is an acronym. It stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time-Based. Let me give you an example. Okay, here's the scenario. You're contracted to a client or you're working for a company and the stakeholders involved have tasked you with this job. They want you to upgrade all the computers in our network. Sounds great to them. And on the surface, even to you, you might go, got it, no problem. But there's some problems here. One of the first and most important things is that this is confusing. For example, what does upgrade mean? It might mean something very different to you than it does to me. Are we talking hardware? Are we talking software? Are we talking specific applications? What does upgrade mean? And computers. Are we talking desktops? Laptops? Do we include servers in this? What is the definition of a computer here? And how long is it going to take us to do this? When do they want this done by? Are they talking next week, next month, next year? There's a lot of potential confusion here that could make this project difficult to finish. Now, what if we rewrote this goal according to that SMART methodology we were talking about? How about something like this? Instead of upgrade all the computers in the network, what we want to do is deploy, update, and test Windows 10 Professional version 21H1 on 100% of our company's corporate desktops by March 31st, 2022. How much better does that feel as a statement, as a job, as a task, as a project? Well, first off, it's incredibly specific. We've gone from upgrade computers to specifically, I want to update the operating system on our corporate desktops to be consistent across the board. And I want that updated operating system to be Win 10 Professional with version 21H1. Got it. Easy. We've also gone a long way to making this goal measurable. If we've got a hundred desktops in the environment, we now know how we're progressing along the way of this project. If we've got 50 of them done, we're halfway there. As soon as we update and test the last PC, we are now finished. And I've also added a date on there. I've made it time-based. So we know that this is going to be completed by a specific date and time. So everybody agrees on that finish line. Now, the other two pieces of the equation are the A and the R in our SMART. Is this achievable and is this relevant? We have to look at this goal in the context of our environment to actually say to ourselves, is there anything that could prevent or get in the way of us getting this project done? Are there any additional resources that we need? Is this truly achievable? What do we have to do before, during, and after this project to ensure it's successful? Finally, relevant. How does this align with the overall goals of the organization that we're working with? Is this the most important thing that we need to be working on right now? Well, maybe it is, maybe it's not. It all depends on your particular environment. All right, let's do another example. This time we'll work on it together. Maybe the stakeholders of the same company have asked you to create an online reference guide for IT staff. Now, that's a fairly common one and a good goal, especially in environments where there's an IT help desk. We want to create an online reference guide for the IT staff members to use to assist their users. Now, let's apply our smart questions and see if we can make this better. First off, is there any way we could make this goal more specific? Well, probably. What do you mean when you say online reference guide? Online where? Inside the network? Outside the network? Is it local? I don't know what you mean by that. And what kind of reference guide? There's all sorts of formats and styles we can use. All right, let's have a stab at making this better. First off, let's make it more specific. Here's a first kick at this. What if we change the word create to launch? Creating something, very different than launching something. By changing that verb, I've actually specified that it's not just going to be created by the end of this project, it's going to be launched and active and usable. 
Second thing is I've specified what we mean by online. Online in this case is going to be housed on the corporate intranet. Got it. And then finally, what reference guide are we using? I've specified a product called DocuWiki. Again, tons of different options here. We would have to have a discussion with the stakeholders and the IT staff to figure out exactly what we want to use, but I've specified the format of that reference guide so we know what we're working with. It's far more specific now. But is it is it still lacking clarity? Is it measurable? Can we do better? Yes. Let's see if we can make it measurable. How about this? I want the online reference guide to contain easy to follow solutions to the top 20 most common IT support calls. By specifying that, what I've done is I've given us a finish line. A wiki, a reference guide could be massive. How do we know when we're finished? For the sake of this project, this wiki will contain the first most common 20 IT support calls for IT staff. Great, we now have a finish line. Next, A, achievable. Is this goal achievable? We'd have to have some conversations and determine, is there anything we've got to do prior or during this project to make it happen? Is there any limitations or problems that are going to get in the way? Is there anything we have to do first to make sure this can happen? Well, all of those are unique to your own environment, but a conversation with the people involved is going to clear that up. Next, R, relevant. Is this relevant to the overall goals of the organization? Yeah, probably it is. That sounds like a pretty good goal. Having some kind of reference guide for IT help desk people, ensuring that they can help and solve their problems quicker and easier and more completely, works for me. The last piece of the puzzle, T, time-based. Oh, we're missing something there. When does this have to be done by? Let's fix that. How about March 15th, 2022? Again, March will be a busy month for me, but March 15th, we should have this launched. Now, do you see the difference between these goals? The first one, although on the surface it may have seemed like we had an understanding of what we were trying to accomplish, it's very, very different than what we ended up with. I've now added specificity, measurability. We've discussed whether it's achievable and relevant, and I've added a date to ensure that it's agreed upon when we are going to complete this project. Bottom line, though, so much about what we do in IT is about project management and the ability to properly and specifically clarify the goals and objectives in our projects. Well, that's just smart.